What is up everyone, it's CMG here. So we are technically at the tail end of the second Overwatch 2 beta. I believe at the time of this video we have about one to two days left of it. So I felt today would be a nice time to give you my honest thoughts and beliefs about Overwatch 2 currently and what I think of the two new heroes, Sojourn and Junker Queen. Now before we get started with this video, I'd just like to remind you all once again, if you like this idea for a video and you want to see more in the future, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button, send a comment, like the video, and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. To all of those who have done so already, thanks a hell of a lot. I, I really appreciate you. There's also a certain percentage of people who watch my YouTube videos, but they're not subscribed to the channel. So if you're one of these people that are watching my videos right now, but you're not subscribed, make sure you click on the subscribe button. It really does help me out tremendously so thank you for that so the first thing i want to discuss briefly is how overwatch 2 is different to overwatch 1 because there are a couple of points i want to make here now this is strictly my opinion and nobody else's so you can either agree or you can disagree with him it's entirely up to you you have your own points and beliefs and i have my own so i just want to make that clear so i'm sure you know in overwatch 1 we have a standard 6v6 game pretty pretty strategic game tempo is pretty low and there are tons of sh there's tons of shields to have to deal with and a lot of us you know we're pretty we're getting pretty tired of that side of it overwatch 2 on the other hand does in some cases feel like a completely different game most standout changes to begin with are the fact that we now have a five on each team rather than six and a vast majority of tanks such as Orisa have had their shield capabilities removed to tone down uh, on shield usages. Uh, we've also had Doomfist transfer from DPS to tank, so there's more there's more tanks to use uh, as opposed to uh, damage. We've also had some serious reworks to supports like Zenyatta, Moira, Mercy to try and make them usable in this new faster 5v5 game because most of, if not all of them, are going to feel a lot less usable if they keep if the devs keep those supports as they are. Uh, so going into October 4th, hopefully every single support will have been changed since then. I mean, certain examples of these changes, you know, Zenyatta can kick better, Moira has been given a new ability, uh, Mercy's Guardian Angel uh, seems a lot easier to use now as you can fly away from you know, difficult situations. It's really useful. Aside from that, however, Overwatch 2 feels like a much faster paced game compared to Overwatch 1. There's not a lot of blockades in the way of progress and it requires much more skill to acquire key limbs and uh, get the upper hand on the enemy team. But the question is, how do I feel about this as someone who has played the same type of game for the past five years that theoretically didn't really need radical changes in the first place, given that Overwatch 1 was pretty much in a good state to begin with? To be fair, and I'll be honest with you on this, it did feel like I had to learn the game all over again because I feel as though you seriously have to consider your positioning a lot more, especially when you're playing support. Remember, you don't have an extra tank player on your team to help with peeling you or creating space. So majority of the time, you're just there hoping you don't get flanked by a god tier damage player. And as a result, you're putting a heavy burden on the rest of your team because you're dying over and over again. Hence, this is the reason why the devs have worked mainly on supports in recent patches to get them up to speed with how they want Overwatch 2 to be played so they can fend for themselves rather than just having someone peel for them. At the same time, the tank players need to be changed as well um, because they, they've got to be more brawly, they've got to, have, they've got to deal more damage, they've got, to have, they've got to have more survivability, right? Honestly, I think it's going to take me a while to adjust to this change to the game. I mean, I've been playing the same way for five years and it's because of this I've had quite a lot of enemy teams stomp me in a handful of brutal games and I don't know if this is because we're only in the beta and hence there's a severe bad case of matchmaking or the fact that my head is still in Overwatch 1 and I'm still trying to train my brain into thinking forwards into the way Overwatch 2 works courtesy of the fact that it plays completely different as I explained earlier. So for example, my positioning is bad to a point where I can be easily killed off by someone who's gripped it a lot easier than me. <laughs> um, I mean, yes, some of the changes in Overwatch 2 are quite big and for me it's pretty overwhelming. But we have to remember that this is still the beta process. 
Overwatch 2 doesn't come out officially until October 4th, so the devs have plenty of time to make tweaks here and there to heroes where necessary, so that the game is a much more fun game to play. And it keeps the core value that us players expect from the game. I don't know the future of Overwatch 2 between now and October. There could be another beta coming out, but we don't know very much info on that yet. I would like to see another beta, and considering I'm actually one of those guys who bought the Watchpoint pack to gain access to it, I'm most certain that we should get that free of charge, right? Uh, I don't know how the email thing works. I mean, there are some people that are trying desperately to get into the beta uh, through the whole email thing, but uh, there are certain people even now that are trying to get in, but they've not received an email from Blizzard, which is ridiculous, to be honest. I mean, they've been waiting so long to get to play Overwatch 2, only to find out they can't because, well, there's only like one or two days left of it. It's just ridiculous. I think what we might get, and this could be completely wrong, we could get another Overwatch 1 Remix event, so a third one, where we get another set of recolored skins just like the previous two events. Then afterwards, if there is a beta, we could see something of that sort a few weeks after said event. Like I said, I, I could be wrong, but from the way we've received so many events and how things happen as far as content is concerned, that could be what might happen. There is one other thing we need to have changed, at least until the next Overwatch 2 beta, if it comes. Could we please change quick play back to the standard one round mode and not include the competitive rule set? I mean, why even call it quick play in the first place if you're going to add the standard rules? I, th I thought quick play was the game mode in Overwatch where you could chill out, play what you want and not have to worry about long drawn out games that you get in rank mode. That really does not make sense to me. I mean, just keep Overwatch ranked and quick play separate. So if you want to play ranked, there it is for you to play it and you know to test yourself. But with quick play, like that's the sort of game type where you just go in and just chill out and just try new heroes out. Like having a competitive side to that is just really pointless, if I'm being totally honest. Okay, so for the tail end of this video, let's talk about the two new heroes, Sojourn and Junker Queen. Just a little, because I feel as though I deserve to give these guys a mention. So let's start off with Sojourn first. So Sojourn... She's really fun to play, maybe a little too fun to play. Uh, I think her damage output is a little too strong in places. I think she might be given a few nerfs to her kit before Overwatch 2 officially launches. So, in example, the Sojourn that we all play right now won't be the same one that we play in October. Uh, they could either do, they could do a few things. They could reduce her damage output, as I said earlier. So they could just destroy some of her output and then just sort of balance it out a little bit more. Or they could add some spread fire to her fall off damage, maybe. Uh, perhaps even add a little recoil to her rifle. Uh, maybe could balance things out a bit. I, mean, I can remember Soldier being played a crap ton uh, because he had tons of value from long range. Uh, it was so easy to just get so much damage and value. All you got to do is go from the high ground and then just pick off some of the tanks. The tanks had a real nightmare against him. Uh, but the recoil added to his rifle gave it a lot more of a skilled edge when you played him. Maybe they could do the exact same for Sojourn. I mean, even if it's not just uh, a fall off, even if it's not just recoil, they could just do, like I said, fall off. Uh, maybe a little spread fire to her rifle when in long range. So it's a lot well, It's a lot more of a challenge to get value from your rifle rather than just, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you, you got like these, these uh, this one hit kill. So you just, you just farm enemies for your rail charge and then you just shoot them and then it's an easy instant kill really. As for the Junker Queen, truth be told, I think I'm struggling to get to grips with her, to be honest. Not sure if that's because I'm now the sole tank player of my team and my responsibility has therefore doubled, or the fact that her kit is a little difficult to master. Now I did make a video showcasing a good game mode where it can help you understand her entire kit, but despite this, in an actual game, I, I even struggle to survive. I still do. Usually, when I get into a team scrap, I get deleted almost instantly, courtesy of either bad positioning or a lack of support. But I feel it's mainly because her survivability is lacking in some areas, and she could do with a little help in the health regeneration value in her kit. Maybe whenever you're using your ultimate or your, your abilities, let's say. So if you swing your axe and you hit somebody, maybe regenerates more health than what it is currently doing right now. 
you know, these little things that might make a hero like Junker Queen a bit more versatile in teams. So, I mean, we all talk about these tanks being reworked to become more brawlers and not have to rely on a second tank. I mean, that's the reason why we're 5v5, right? So, if Junker Queen has a bit more survivability, she might be a bit more fun to play. I'm, I'm, this is just basically my opinion. If, if you're getting much more value than me out of Junker Queen and you're really enjoying her style, then great. But I just feel that maybe there are areas of the way that you play Junker Queen that might need a bit more tweaking in terms of survivability. But anyway, that's my thoughts on Overwatch 2. I mean, I'm, I'm really enjoying Overwatch 2 nonetheless. I mean, there are, there are a few times where I get absolutely stomped and I get frustrated. But other than that, I'm, I'm really enjoying Overwatch 2. I mean, it's going to be... Well, there's only two days left of the beta at the time of me making this video. So, yeah. We'll all have to go back to Overwatch 1. It's going to feel really weird because, you know, Overwatch 2 is technically the game I've been playing. I haven't even touched Overwatch 1. So, going back to it might feel a bit odd because there's no Junker Queen, there's no Sojourn. And we'll go back to the reverted changes that, you know... Well, Orisa for one thing, you know, Bastion, all these changes... That have been given to them for overwatch 2 we won't be able to use those but um yeah we'll have to see what happens guys i mean you know th there could be another beta coming very very soon before the game officially comes out so we'll just have to wait and see but those are my thoughts ladies and gentlemen you can either agree with them or you can disagree with them it's entirely up to you but those this is my opinion this is my channel and uh yeah go and let me know in the comment section down below what you think of uh, Overwatch 2. Have you been playing it? And uh, what is your thoughts on the game, effectively? So that's it for the video today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you like this idea for a video and you want to see more in the future, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button, send a comment, like the video, and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. For those of you that have done it already, thank you. You can also check me out on all of my social medias, my Twitter account, my Discord, and of course, my TikTok. Thank you for stopping by, chaps. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers, because we are all human beings. I've been CMG as always, and until the next video, I shall see you later. Peace.